Hello everyone and welcome back to reading and writing. Um, okay, so we're going to look at part C today. Um, thank you for those of you who have answered the questions. Um, uh, as you know, I would have um, had a look and let you know if they were correct or not. Now, we're moving into improving your paragraph writing. So this is really important before we get on with your essays. Um, we'll start doing research and things when I get back. Um, but for the moment, um, we'll start with talking about improving your paragraph writing skills. Okay, so you learn how to write sort of the topic sentence and the main ideas to support those, but we really need to extend your skills and abilities to get to that high level academic writing um, where you're able to convince someone. Now, I will say this 1000 times, you cannot use I in academia, okay? So if you're writing an academic essay, your opinion does not matter. If you're writing a report, you can talk about recommendations, but you must do so in the third person. So we do not say I, we, me, or my, okay? Make sure there is no first person. I have people in level three that are still using first person, even though I keep telling them not to, and that's driving me bananas, okay? So let's look at 2.9 and uh, consider about the topic sentence again for each one. Number one, and please, as I said before, read out loud. Sisters and brothers out the window. Tell mummy and daddy to go and do something else more interesting. Um, I want you to be reading out loud to improve your speaking skills um, and make sure that you're not falling behind, Miss Summer. Mm -hmm. Okay. The main reason for this is the lack of employment opportunities available in country areas because machines are increasingly replacing people. Young people in particular often find it difficult to find employment. Another reason is the lack of school social activities available in rural areas. So below, what is the topic sentence of this one? So what is it actually really about? Difficult for young people to live in rural areas. People are moving away for a better lifestyle in cities. There are not enough jobs in rural areas or urban life is much better than rural life. Okay, so when we're doing multiple choice questions, the same as um, if you do your um, IELTS or you do TOEFL, uh, do ACT, you will actually find that the best way um, is to actually get rid of the ones that are incorrect. So, do they mention cities at all in this area? They don't. Okay, so you know that cities, B is going to be incorrect, and then urban life, urban means the city, is also incorrect. So we can get rid of B and D straight away. That leaves us with A and C. C, there are not enough jobs available in rural areas. Now, while this is true because they've mentioned it up here, it's not the only thing they've mentioned. They've actually mentioned two things. So therefore, it is difficult for young people to live in rural areas would be correct. So it's difficult because they're talking about social activities and they're talking about employment opportunities. So therefore, C is too specific, which means A is the correct answer. So I said this is a really important skill that you're going to use in IELTS as well as TOEFL. Okay. Again, please read out loud. You can even whisper if you feel embarrassed. Three, two, one. In the city, more cars mean more traffic jams and therefore slower speeds. In contrast, country roads have less traffic and the drivers are able to drive at much higher speeds. Additionally, the average trip is much longer in the country compared to the city. And so the chances of a driver falling asleep at the wheel are much greater in the country. Okay, so the answers could be, can cars travel much faster in country areas? We know that this is incorrect straight away. It says slower speeds. Okay, so we've got, get rid of that one. It's definitely not one. Although there are more cars in the city than in the country, it is generally much safer driving in the city. A reduction in the number of cars on city roads is the best way to make city driving safer. They didn't actually make a recommendation um, or an opinion, and therefore C is also incorrect. 
sleepy drivers are a major hazard on country roads. Again, they have actually mentioned this um, in terms of people driving falling asleep, but again, as with the top one, it is too specific. And therefore we can identify that B is the correct answer, okay? Three, two, one, let's all read together. A recent survey has found that the two most important reasons for immigrants choosing to live in rural Australia are social connections and lifestyle. The overwhelming majority said that the community made them feel very welcome. Almost 90% of them had visited their neighbours since moving to their new homes. Okay, so let's say immigrants approve of Australian country life. Possibly. Most immigrants have great neighbours in rural Australia. Again, they do mention that they've visited their neighbours. They haven't said that they're best friends or that their neighbours are good people. So number one, the word great uh, means that this sentence is incorrect. And also it is too specific. It talks only about the neighbours, whereas this area, this number three is a little bit different. Rural communities are the best places to live in Australia. Again, because they've mentioned immigrants, it means that they're being specific. So this is not specific enough. So this is too broad. Immigrants enjoy sense of community in rural areas. Again, yes, they do, but it's too specific. So one, so B, C and D would be incorrect. And that means that A is correct. So by a process of elimination, we can identify what the correct answer is. Sometimes thinking just about the correct answer is more difficult. So being able to eliminate the ones that are clearly incorrect uh, makes the process uh, a lot easier. And as I said, in IELTS and TOEFL, um, as well as ACT, this is gonna be a really important skill for you to have. Okay, so we've identified topic sentences. So what a topic sentence does, is it tells us specifically what the paragraph is actually going to be about. Then we're gonna move on to 2.10, linking devices review. So look at the sentences below and combine them into a paragraph beginning with sentence B, okay? So it is often claimed that living in the city is more stressful than living in the country. So B, that we indicated, is going to be your topic sentence. What you need to do now is write the whole paragraph in here. So B, C, D, E, F, and A, in the correct order and using the correct conjunctions and relative pronouns learned in unit one. So conjunctions and relative pronouns. So then, that, which, were pronouns, they, them, uh, etc. okay? So try and link all of these up. You don't have to make one big sentence, but you do need to turn it into a paragraph. So you might be linking two, possibly three sentences and you need to put this in the right order. This is going to be also another snipping opportunity for you, so please make sure that you copy this and you send it to me when you're done. If you cannot write directly on this document, please feel free to write onto, uh, directly onto paper and send me that photo, or put it onto a Word document and send me that. Okay, so now we're going to look at identifying the better sample paragraph. So we need to think about overall structure. Is it in the right order? The topic sentence or sentences, are they good? Are they topical? Are they correct? Linking devices and word choice, okay? So I want you to choose either A or B and you're going to tell me by either circling it and snipping it or if you would like to send it um, in a Word document or a written document as well. Again, I want us to practice our speaking skills. So I would like you to read along with me. So let's read A. It is often claimed that living in a city is more stressful than living in a country because people who live in the city know the other local people and therefore and are therefore friendlier towards each other. In addition, people who live in the country have more time to spend with their families. However, some people who live in the country complain that they would rather live in the city. One reason for this is that people who live in the country often have to travel a long way to get to places like shops and schools. Furthermore, there is not as much variety of things to do in the country. Okay, so this one, let's have a think about it. Is it ordered correctly? 
Is the thesis st sentence correct? Does the entire paragraph make sense? Do they come up with new um, ideas in there that they shouldn't? Remember, one paragraph is one main idea. Now, let's look at B and see what we think about this one. It is often claimed that living in a city is more stressful than living in the country because people who live in the city know the other local people and are therefore friendlier. In addition, country dwellers have more time to spend with their families. However, some of them complain that they would rather live in the city. One reason for this is that they often have to travel a long way to get to places like shops and schools. Furthermore, there is not as many variety of things to do in the country. Okay, so I want you to choose either A or B. Down here, or on your separate document, I want you to tell me why you think A is the best or why you think B is the best. Okay, so you're going to use one, two, three to make some paragraphs, okay? So we've got a lot of work to do today, so I'm gonna keep the, the actual lesson a little bit shorter so that you can spend the rest of the time uh, for the class, allocated to the class, um, to actually complete this writing for me, okay? So you're going to be completing, as I said, turning this into a paragraph, identifying which one is correct and writing tell me why, and also writing paragraphs in of these sections, okay? So, using the following sentence, use appropriate linking devices since like addition or however, to ensure the links between the sentences are clear in the paragraph. So if it's agreeing with something, you would say additionally, or furthermore. If it's disagreeing, you would say however, in opposed to. Each paragraph must contain a topic sentence with supporting sentences. Include a qualification with supporting sentences in each paragraph. So you'll need to reorder the sentences. So identify which one you believe is the topic sentence once you've read through all of them. And then identify which should come first, second, third or fourth, and link them by using in addition, however, etc. Okay. If you want to have a look at linking devices uh, on the internet, they'll give you some other suggestions. Do not use a translator. I will know, okay? Um, so we need to do this individually. Um, I'll just read through this information. And again, I'd love you to whisper along with me so that you can practice um, your speaking skills. The secret to people in these places the secret to people in these places living longer is a lifestyle that includes a healthy diet, daily exercise and a low stress life. People there aren't just living longer, they are usually living healthy, medication and disability free. So medication and disability free, they're talking about they don't need to take any tablets um, for their health, they're just naturally really healthy. The five bus zones in the Italian island of Sardina Okinawa, Japan, Ladu, California, Nico, Costa Rica, and Greek island of Ikara. Sorry, the five blue zones, not bus zones. I apologize for that. Blue zones are places in the world where people live longer and healthier than anywhere else in the world. In each of these five places, it is common for people to live till 90 or even 100 years of age. Okay, so which one do you think the topic sentence is? I would suggest that this would be the topic sentence, okay? So you'll need to then identify which should come first, second, third, um, and using the linking devices to link all of the information. Number two, they pollute their bodies and their bodies suffer. Choosing the right lifestyle is easier said than done. Most people simply choose to not live the necessary lifestyle. A long and healthy life is possible for everyone. Sophisticated medicines are expensive. Modern technological therapies are not required to live long and healthy. The secrets to blue zone longevity are health and health are not surprising, okay? So you need to identify which sentence is correct. So which sentence is going to be the topic sentence? And finally, they suffer from half 
sorry, half the rate of heart disease, 20% fewer cancers than Americans. To find out more, visit Blue Zones. People in Blue Zones use their bodies for their daily activities. People in Blue Zones eat healthy diets and people in Blue Zones exercise naturally. Okay. So, as I said, we need to make paragraphs of all of these items using our linking devices. That's all you need to do for today. So, um, also, I don't want you to just write A, B, C. <laughs> you need to write this out in full sentences and send that through to me by the end of the day today. So, at the end of the day, I'd like to get this back. Um, as usual, if you want to WeChat me, if you've got any questions, please let me know and I'm happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much and I hope that you all have a really lovely day.